Hi friends, how are you? I just recorded like four minutes of a intro, lost my train of thought, man, my beanie's too tight, and uh, was like, screw it, I'm starting over. Um, hi friends, so before we get into the uh, talking about the show, I'm going to do a little bit of admin stuff. First of all, some of you might be confused, like, hey, I thought you said you weren't going to do Violet Evergarden, I thought you were going to do Laidback Cam first, then Violet Evergarden. Uh, I changed my mind. So Laidback Cam is going to be on hold until the so show finishes. Part of that reason is uh, I just don't like having to wait once a week to watch the episode. The other part being I like the idea of... Um, you know, usually for seasonal shows, the copyright monsters are more out in bay, out, out searching. And I usually thought, hey, I'm safe. There's no sound partial image. You can't even see the episode, really. And then I got attacked. Like, they claimed, like, information that had my voice, that had no sound of that. I put a copyright dispute in. They were like, doesn't work. Um, which I think kind of shows also more so that I need to, like, really up how I, like, so that, like, I had to really type out how I do my copyright dispute stuff, um, from now on. But the thing is, I was like, what? You can't hear anything. You can't even see the episode. How is that? Um, it was just irritating. I didn't have a lot of views up to that point, so I was like, okay, it's fine, it's whatever. But I was still irritating. I was like, what? This is so stupid. Um, but because of that, now I'm like, ooh, okay, so maybe my seasonal shows aren't as safe. As I thought they were. So, if I figured, oh, I'll do a show, you know, and all this stuff, uh, and I'm saying, is really tailored after the anime reactor Tibu. I've mentioned him before in a lot of my anime reactions. Um, how I set up my anime reactions is really based completely off of him. How he does it, what websites he uses for the most part. I'm like, oh, I like this, I like that, I like this. And I liked it. And I was I started using his stuff long before I got my channel monetized. I monetized at 5,000. We're doing Violet Evergarden. Layback Camp is going to be on hold until the show finishes, till the season finishes. The Layback Camp comes in two. Season one is out, though part of some of my reactions have been blocked. Though some of them are on BitChute, but not all of them are. I think the ones that aren't on BitChute were the ones that if they weren't blocked, they were um, lost, unfortunately. So a lot of my earlier stuff is kind of the, it's obnoxious because it's been blocked. A lot of my Hero Academia videos have been blocked, which is so obnoxious. Again, if you want to copyright claim it, but please don't block it. It's just obnoxious. Gosh darn it. Try to get the wall. Anyway. And uh, the idea of like, oh, you know, only a certain amount of footage, you know. Only a certain, like, 30 second, but no, it's all a lie. Complete, utter lie. There is nothing that will save you from the copyright monsters. Nothing. Um, anyway, I just want to let you know, as of right now, of January 2021, Laidback Camp Season 2 is on hold. We're doing by Evergarden instead. And then we're going to do Laidback Camp when it's done. And then we'll do, what did I say, Place Further Than the Universe, Hebe K Euphonium. Yeah, little stuff like that. Anyway... Yeah. So, why Violet Evergarden? Well, first of all, it just looks so darn pretty. It looks gorgeous. I was watching your line in April. I was like, oh, that looks really pretty too. I think my brother seen it. He really liked it. Also, I think she plays the violin. And I'm like, oh, music, music, stuff like that. I've just heard it's a really, like, amazing storyline. But it also just looks so darn gorgeous. So I thought, okay, this looks really cool. Let's dive into this. So... If you're watching on YouTube, there's no sound, partial opaque, um, partial translucent image. If you want to follow along, you can. There's a countdown timer, you can't miss it. If you want to see the full version, there's a link below. And without further ado, let's dive in. Cool. And where is the Netflix original series? I was wondering. No, is it based off a manga or is it an original anime? That's what I want to know. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up, my god. I thought he was flying a blonde guy for a second. She's quiet. Mm. 
look more like her eyes, but yeah, a little bit like Hudson's. His eyes are more green. Oh, we're just diving straight into the intensity. Well, that's a way to start the show. My gosh, this show's gorgeous. Got that Netflix money. Mm. Also, part of the reason I also wanted to watch this is because I think it has to do the music, like... Okay. Mmm. Oh, I know, honey girl, you're having a hard time holding your stuff. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is this? This is ridiculously beautiful. Anyway, I was watching, I think I mentioned this already, but maybe I forgot. I was watching your line, April, really... You know, and this came on. My brother's seen it. I was like, okay, she. I think she plays the violin. There's music involved. It also looks gorgeous. <sighs> Why does it look like the Titanic? little typewriter. Kingdom of Encia. Mm. I must be this doctor talking. So is she not human then? She's not human then. I don't know, she's bleeding. I don't think that's entirely possible. Got caught up in the doll. He looks kind of worse for wear. Is he dead? The sound engineering is interesting because when you're far away, it's doing that kind of big room sound. But when you're close, you can really hear her voices. Mm. No, he's dead. He didn't make it. Is it... Good girl. Honey, you're not in uniform, it's okay. Neither is he. Y'all in our civvies, you'll be okay. So there's a big battle that kind of led to her being like this. <sighs> That's nice. She's got the craziest blue eyes. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, mm, no, it, he's not. I think he's trying to hide the shaking of his hands when he put his hands in his pocket. So she's assigned to people. Something I like about anime that I don't think most, not all, most movies are as full to doing so is they're not afraid to shoot the back of someone's head. Hmm. Ooh. 
Ooh. Hope he finds it. I think he'll find it. No, okay. So, he's dead. She's very much a machine. And it's, well, maybe that's the assumption. But she's hurt, so she can't be a full machine. She's just the human to some degree. And he, Major was, she was assigned to him. Why do you buy her dolls? She's not a little girl. <laughs> the directing is interesting because the other way the camera is blocked by objects in people's heads to do reveals of, so far, mainly Violet. It's cute. Oh! That's rude. So some people view him so, view them so, like, look at those bridges destroy. <sighs> Why is she doing that? So we're probably gonna get moments where she's probably very intense, like, wow, she's been designed for, and moments when she's, yeah. In moments where she's childlike, ooh, that seems a little three D ish. She has breath. She has to be living, and she can cry. She has to be a living being. She can't be mechanical. I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna waffle on that the whole time, aren't I? Oh, I love it when they do that, when they have, like, the animations, like, out of focus on certain things, like, actual cameras on it. So there was one major battle. She's been there for 120 days. Quite a while. Four months. Mm. Pretty. So there was a big battle, probably at the end of this war, probably a deciding battle. Oh, look at their eyes. They're so beautiful. Evergarden. Now we know where she gets the last name. <laughs> And she's been in recovery for four months, probably since the end of the war. So now everything is in recovery mode. Oh, her hands still. I know there's an English dub, so. She's going to unlock Ravel and it's going to be metal underneath, isn't it? So she is a robot. Oh no 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 they're they're new. They're new. She's not accustomed to them yet. I love those shots like that. So she has new They do look good on her. So the arms are new. I've already said this. Hmm. It's gonna be so weird for her. She was made for war. Hmm. 
probably died more. Oh, we're gonna get this. This is what she's like. Mmm. Being what she is, she's very straightforward. She's just, yeah, woof. This is out in the open. <laughs> the colors, gorgeous, just gorgeous. She's so lost. She's maybe an enhanced being? You gotta tell her he's dead, y'all. Her whole purpose was him in this war. Call me president. <laughs> he owns a company? He does, okay. <laughs> so maybe, so then she'll work for him. That's cool. Lieutenant Colonel is higher than Major, so he, oh, he probably oversaw a little bit of what the Major did. I kind of like how it's sort of like a period piece in a way. Mm. So he grew very affectionate of her. Hmm. The civilian needs interesting. Okay. <laughs> Renamed her. She's gonna find out he's dead, you know. That's good, yeah. Give her purpose, please. I have her own little office. Oh, he kind of moved around fast. <laughs> Alright, is, is that his, like, his facial hair? Or is he just kind of scruffy, like, roughed up? Okay, so far. Gilbert's dead. War is over. She was part of one of the final battles. She had normal arms. She lost her arms. That meant silver. Oh, not right now! <laughs> He'll see. Oh, the way her hands look are so cool. Why does it look Cyrillic? Like the way he says some things reminded me of like Russian. <laughs> so that's a little, I guess a little scar on her face. That's cool. Ah, <laughs> it's so pretty. Of course she's good. She can pick up and sort. She'll know how to do that. She might not need a break. He says she'd be sufficient. Oh, that's cool. Kind of designed after actual real maps.
Okay, that's she got, she's still working through some stuff. Okay. So he just kind of has a six o'clock shadow, but that's how they're showcasing it. Nope, that's your company. He should have told her to go home. <laughs> you have to tell her these things. She's very blunt, but yet dense. She doesn't quite understand things. Right, she has to be kind of, she kind of has to be ordered and sort of directed. Ooh, she's still getting used to those hands and arms. This, there's a lot going on this episode. Okay. She disobeyed. Probably the only time she probably disobeyed. She's a teenager then. 16, 17 then. Hmm. She's looking for real fire. <laughs> I know. That's her energy. She's looking for purpose. I'm sure once we start diving into those flashbacks more, even I'll understand more. So now we see the purpose of having all those lamps there. She on the roof? She is on the roof. I like that. Her getting used to her pretty much prosthetics. <sighs> yeah. That's kind of cool how they kind of speed up the time like that. This doll? It's a love letter, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, she's typing. Oh, no, well. Oh. He. <whistles> she's something. Look how fast she is and the way she moves. so nice the woman's typing it up for him interesting it's 
So she's like Violet. So she's like Violet. They all have very unique eye colors. Tabby would be easier for her. Yeah. Probably from anyone, period, too. Because they understand it. Did she just rip her arm off? What happened to her arms? That was intense. <sighs> okay, all right, let's. <laughs> I have to admit, this first episode a little all over the place. I was just like, I wait, what, 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 what? Why are we jumping here, 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 here? So, I didn't like how it just kind of felt like we were jumping all over the place. It felt kind of, it felt super chaotic. And maybe that's, uh, you know, I'm hoping that was more of a, a, a um a artistic choice because everything felt chaotic because everything was being was chaotic for Violet. I'm hoping it's that and everything kind of runs a little bit more smoothly moving forward. I think that's my only complaint about this episode is that it was kind of all over the place. A little, just a little, I just felt kind of, um, not disconcerted. I can't remember the word, discombobulated a little bit because it was just like, blah, 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 blah. Um, it was, it was kind of a chunky flow. It really didn't flow very smoothly. So that's my biggest complaint. But obviously I have no complaints about any of the animation and the directing of the animation. It was beautiful. Well, it's apparently some sort of, was some sort of weapon. Um, I'm hoping as the show moves forward, we'll get to uh, see a little bit about, well, I'm hoping I'll get to see a little bit more about what does that mean exactly? Was she, is she just you know, I call her a doll, but at the same time, she bleeds, she cries, she has breath. So she must be a living being. She she must be a living being to some degree. Um, her arms, what would they do? Ripped off? That's awful. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of weird a little bit. Um, something I was saying, but I... Uh, We'll get more into our information. But we pretty much was like, bop, 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 here are the key players, go. Um, kind of all over the place, yeah. I know there is a dub version of this. I think what I'm going to do is as I react to the sub, I'm going to listen to the dub. I'm just kind of curious to see how it'll sound. 
especially what accents they gave to them, since there's some as like some of the letters look kind of like Cyrillic letters. And so I'm curious to see: will she have an English accent? Will she be an American? Will she have a Russian accent? Um, so I'm gonna go, I'll, later on this week. Uh, I'm gonna listen to this to the English dub and watch the English dub. So I'll get those answers, and um, maybe I'll even make some notes and see if there's any big differences about how they communicate. But we pretty much just, it's just an introduction. We've gotten some taste of some elements. We've pretty much gotten, for the most part, I think obviously the theme of the season, Violet trying to learn how to be a civilian after the war, um, learning to be useful uh, as one, um, learning to find her purpose, learning to deal with um, these prosthetics, amazing prosthetics, but again, they're not her, so she's kind of like working with that. Which makes sense while ever so often when I see um, uh, reaction video recommendations their military members react to, or at least a couple have been, because I'm sure there's a lot they're going to be able to relate to in this show. And it's interesting how the main character is a little girl, which is actually probably way more heartbreaking because she's maybe 16, 17 at the most. Um, I'm curious to see, are those dolls like her, or is she... Is that just a, is the automated memory doll thing, is that just, are these individuals, and that is the role. But they all have kind of these crazy eye colors, and I don't know if it's because it's an anime thing. Now we saw this kind of weird blue, like, like the lady had like this blue sleeves, but then it also looked like there was, it like was a tattoo across one part of her leg. So I'm not, not sure if that's clothing or tattoos. Hopefully we'll get to meet more of those dolls as we move forward. But there is something interesting about what exactly are these dolls? What exactly are these? Um, obviously, this first episode, there's way more questions than answers to be going out and about. But I do like this series. It's gorgeous. I am excited to kind of see what the characters are going to get up to. And I am interested. I like how the fact that we have a character who is so dense and so blunt who's kind of learning to not be that way. Uh, one thing I will say that I'm curious to see if we'll get into, and we kind of touched on that when she said throw me away, is suicide. Suicide is really big in the military, which is awful. Um, veterans and currently serving, um, it's a really high number. Uh, suicide is really high uh, compared to women, really high um, for men anyway. So, it's even higher with military men. So we kind of touched on that a little bit with her saying, throw me away. I'm curious to see if we'll come back around to that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be one of those animes that's really healing and really painful at the same time. Um, also, what's cool is that there are 14 episodes most anime I encounter run from either 10 to 13 episodes, so 14, which is pretty cool. I was going to dive into episode 2 tonight, but I've got some editing to do, and I've got some other things to get done for school. This is the first week of my semester, but I am glad that we are diving into Violet Evergarden. I, I like the fact that I'm switching um, gears a little bit. I think the show is much more suitable for... January for the winter for where we are in the country um yeah that's about it that's all I've got to say thank you so much for watching um like comment subscribe share with your friends share with your enemies and I'll see you next time